A viewer wants to know how he can deal with his crush liking someone else. And he sees her with this other person, right? It's bound to happen. And I know it's hard, but here's the thing. She was a crush because you put her on a pedestal and you ideals, you idealized the image of her, not the real her. That's part of the problem. When you, when you're interested in someone that you really don't know well, you haven't gotten to know them warts and all. You really haven't. So you're seeing the projection of them, the person you want them to be, the person you think they are. But once you get to know them, the real, the real person, it's not going to be the same. But since you never had a relationship with this person, you won't ever know. So that makes it even harder. So what you need to do is try to distance yourself. Try at this point not to be around her at all. And I know that that's hard. You probably bump into her, but find another path. If you bump into her at a certain time, a certain place, don't go there. Even if you have to leave earlier to go a different route, do it for a while. You really need to. Because every time you see her, and every time you see her with this person, it's going to be hard. And if you know somebody who really knows her, talk to this person and say, look, I had a crush on her but I know she's not all that. Just tell me something not so flattering, not in a gossipy way, but just say, look, what is it about her that maybe it's not so great? And it could be just one thing, but if you get that in your head, instead of the image of her, this perfectionist person who doesn't exist really, except in your head, but if you find out one fault about her, it humanizes her and it makes her into a real person. And then you're like, you know what? I doubt that if I got to know her, it'd be all that great anyway. Let him have her. Now, I know you're not at that point yet, but you will be down the road. I would say give it three months. So if you can go three months without running into her, making a point not to, and you're probably saying, oh, that's just avoiding. Yeah, yeah, it is. But why put yourself through it? If you know you're going to see the two of them together at a certain point or certain place, try to avoid it. And maybe you can't. But just try just for the next three months. And I'm telling you, in three months, you're going to be in a different place. And you're going to be looking at the whole situation much more objectively. And it's not going to be so painful as it is now.